racing up here at the Glen sure does make the drivers hungry. And for one local group, the guy who fuels all the bellies on the team is also the same guy who ensures they even get to the track here in the first place. WENY's Isabel Garcia joins us live at the track with the story of a hauler driver who's also a chef. Isabel? Yes, hi there, Renato. We're live up at Watkins Glen International, and we're actually inside the garage area. And this isn't where just all the action happens. It's actually also where most of the cooking happens as well. And, of course, with a big event like this, you need to have a lot of fuel for those athletes. And now I had actually had the chance to talk to one of the chefs, Chef Spanky, who actually gets his nickname from the Little Rascals due to his cheeks, he says, as a young boy. But he's also not just the chef for Petty Motorsports. He actually also doubles as one of their hauler drivers. Meet Jason Edison, also known as Chef Spanky. He's the full-time cook for Petty Motorsports, and with a team sponsorship of Smithfield Meats, he says bacon is always on the menu. With 90% of the garage, they come to us, you know, and want bacon in the mornings, which we try to keep bacon all day long because, of course, that's our main product we got at the racetrack. When he's not behind the grill, he's behind the wheel. Chef Spanky is also one of two hauler drivers for the team, and that job has its own list of responsibilities. There's a lot more to it than just driving this truck, you know, not only we drive it, we cook, you know, if we have to help work on the race car, I'll jump in there and work on the race car. Chef Spanky says he appreciates the opportunity to be trusted behind the wheel. Knowing that I'm one of these lucky 40 truck drivers in this garage that travel the country pulling all these, these nice race cars and you're definitely in beautiful equipment. And the best part about cooking, he says it's being creative and being able to see people's reactions. I enjoy seeing their expressions. You know, every week I try to break it up with what I cook, you know, because we're on the road 36, 37 weeks out of the year. Chef Spanky says he'll be cooking all day Friday and Saturday, but the real rush comes on the big race day for Sunday. Well, Sunday's your really your busy day because we have a probably 100, 150 guests, depending on who all comes. So you're looking at a good bit of bacon, a good little Smithfield pork that's uh, cooked on the grill and stuff. Now, I actually had a chance to try one of those pieces of bacon earlier today, and let me tell you something, it is definitely delicious. Now, be sure to stay with WEMY News for your full team coverage all through this weekend, and especially tomorrow night. Check in with us at 7 p.m. for our WEMY NASCAR special, Williams Toyota of Elmira Presents, Thunder at the Glen, brought to you by Shimon Canal Trust Company. For now, reporting live at WGI, Isabel Garcia, WEMY News.